I think that the only way that Europe's going to be saved from itself and saved from the rest of the world, in a way, is for the citizens to organize themselves, to organize themselves inside Europe, and also to make links with active citizens outside of Europe. They're sort of global problems that we're facing. Europe doesn't have all of the answers on its own, but it certainly has a large part of the resources that can be used to deal with uh, global problems that threaten all of us. The European Union, we have to remind ourselves, is a historic success in having brought prolonged periods of peace to the European continent, which has experienced millennia of, of, of violence. Um, and so, but in this context of um, of success, it has forgotten how to relate itself to genuine wars, and there are genuine wars all around the European Union. Um, this is something that um, we should never have forgotten, but we certainly should have um, learned how to deal with in the context of the Yugoslav Wars. Um, the Yugoslav Wars were a great failure of the European Union in guaranteeing peace and security on the European continent, and we don't seem to have learned anything from that when it comes to um, what's happening in Syria uh, or in other neighboring countries. And indeed, the response of uh, Europe has arguably got worse, whereas in the Yugoslav Wars, um, there were significant numbers of people welcomed to other European countries in, in asylum. Um, that same generosity hasn't been shown when it comes to uh, Syria or Iraq. I think also that uh, although there's no war on the European continent, uh, that's not to say that there's no violence. And I think that in a certain sense the mission of the European Union needs to be extended to um, guaranteeing uh, not only no war but also no violence. And I think that um, there's violence when protesters on the streets are confronted by police force. There's violence when young people are denied the possibility of um, having decent working conditions or finding a job. There's violence when pensioners uh, lose their economic security. And this kind of violence has been prevalent and growing over the past 10 years in, in Europe. And so I think that the mission of the European Union in terms of peace uh, needs to be slightly redefined and extended, not only to no war, but to no social violence. If you ask public opinion in many European countries, um, significant parts of it are in favour of welcoming um, people migrating, whether it be people uh, fleeing from conflict or simply people moving for, for economic or personal reasons. There's significant parts of the European population in each country that are in favour of that. Um, the problem is that our politics has partly been hijacked by um, right-wing groups which are deeply opposed to it and have been able to position themselves in our political system in a way that they become the dominant forces. Um, I think that the, um, the, uh, there's no resolving the migration question. There's no way you can stop people from moving. This is not something that's, that's possible. You certainly can't stop people moving towards Europe. To create, to create a positive response to the, to the migration question is going to require institutional redesign inside the European Union. It's not a question of persuading people to be more generous. It's not a question of setting a quota that this year will accept two million, not only one million. It's a question of actually totally redesigning the ways in which decisions are taken inside the European Union, the ways in which our uh, national budgets work. It's, we have to confront this uh, migration situation as a kind of civilizational challenge. A way of putting that is that the migrant comes uh, asking us who we are when someone arrives at the border of the European Union. We can, we can imagine that they are asking us, who are you? And we can choose either to respond to them uh, with, uh, with violence or we can choose to respond to them by saying, well, we welcome you to help us create a new community.